Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be synthesizing an interhalogen, which is a molecule consisting only of halogens. The molecule I'm synthesizing is iodine monochloride, which is one iodine bonded to one chlorine atom. And the synthesis works like this. In the Erlenmeyer flask I have potassium permanganate, which I'm going to be adding hydrochloric acid to to make a chlorine gas generator. The chlorine gas is going to travel up the tube and collect in this test tube. At the bottom of the test tube are pure iodine crystals. So once the chlorine gas contacts the iodine crystals, iodine monochloride will be formed. So I'm going to add the hydrochloric acid to the potassium permanganate and get back to you when iodine monochloride is formed in the bottom of the test tube. Immediately after chlorine is introduced to the test tube, iodine monochloride is observed. It is a reddish liquid that I don't know how you can see how well you can see it in the bottom of the test tube. Also yellow crystals and a yellow gas are formed. I believe these are iodine trichloride because with excess chlorine the equilibrium favors the production of iodine trichloride. Also the smell of chlorine gas is very evident so is required to do this outside or under a fume hood. Anyway, so there we have pure liquid iodine monochloride. Thanks for watching. Oh, and also to dispose of the iodine monochloride, I'm going to be pouring it into sodium thiosulfate solution because that is how you neutralize bromine and therefore it should behave the same. So, the liquid is poured. It's rather volatile and uh, fumes a lot like bromine, giving off a red-brown gas.